Welcome Palatine Chemistry students. Today we are doing the Types of Reaction Lab. A couple steps to it. Uh, you're going to perform or watch uh, each of the activities. There's seven of them, uh, seven reactions you're going to look at. You're going to complete the equation. Now that's something that we will be working on in the future, so you may be able to do that. You may not. There may be some aspects you can do, some equations you can do, some you cannot. Uh, you're going to identify each of them. Okay, either synthesis, decomposition, single, double, combustion, or neutralization. And then you're going to post a before and after picture, or during. Some of them happen, um, it's better to kind of get a during picture. But uh, table one, you've got burning magnesium. And again, uh, it gives you some directions of what to do. It has your written observations here. We give you the reactants. We give you the formula of the reactants. That's very nice of us. And then you're looking to predict the products. Okay. Uh, and then at this point here, you'll tell us what type of reaction. Okay. Uh, so we have burning magnesium. We have sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide. Uh, table three is heating copper two sulfate pentahydrate. And table four is lead to nitrate with potassium iodide. This is a toxic substance. You're going to see there is a container for waste. It's going to go in the waste container, and then we'll dispose of it properly. Uh, you have table five is silver nitrate and copper. And then table six is burning uh, ethanol. And then moving on to the last table, uh, heating copper two hydroxide. So let's get into it. Let's do the lab. Uh, again, we are looking to take some observations, take some pictures. Oh, went a little farther. And uh, the important part, or the part that we're really trying to focus on, is we're trying to identify. Okay, we're trying to identify what type of reaction this is going to be. If you can't predict the products just yet, that's okay. The main goal of this is to identify what type of reaction it will be down the road.
Welcome back, Pirates. Hopefully you enjoyed the lab. I want to go through each table. I'm not going to give you the answer as far as um, the type of reaction. That's something you're going to have to do. Uh, you're also going to have to balance it. Uh, but what, what I want to do is give you what the products are, because some of you may need that uh, to kind of help you identify what uh, type of reaction is. So and this first one with the magnesium, you saw a very bright light. Uh, if you were in person, it's it's almost to the point of, of hurting your eyes. Um, so you have magnesium and oxygen, and they combined to form um, magnesium oxide, okay, MgO. And if, if I go too fast, pause the video, write it down, come back. That's how videos work. Uh, if I move on to table two, sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide. So I have uh, sulfuric acid. Okay, you'll learn I have that H in front of it, identifies that I have an acid there. Uh, sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide, and that forms uh, sodium sulfate and water. Okay, uh, little hint for you right here. This is considered a salt. Okay, big hint actually. Uh, so that will help you hopefully identify that one. As I move on to table number three, I had uh, copper... Sulfate pentahydrate, uh, when I did that, it went from a very bright, beautiful blue uh, to white, okay? Uh, so what I did was this, this, just so we are aware, this is one substance, okay? That is one substance. There's That's not an addition sign between the two of them. That is one substance. And that one substance, hint, breaks down into two substances, okay? Copper sulfate and water. You'll notice on this one, I did give you another little hint, uh, the S and the G, solid and gas, um, that's copper sulfate, solid, and water in a gaseous state, okay? Uh, as I move down uh, to the next one, this was the lead nitrate and potassium iodide. This turned uh, two uh, clear liquids into a very bright yellow, and it's actually a solid. If I was to let that uh, settle out, if it's a solid, it's a precipitation reaction. Uh, so you had two things form. You had lead iodide and potassium nitrate. Okay. And as I move on to table five, uh, this video was accelerated, uh, times two. Um, it takes some while, uh, it takes a while to happen. It depends on the molarity, the concentration, uh, of the substances. But, uh, we take silver nitrate and copper wire and that forms copper nitrate and silver. Okay, so you actually, yes, you actually do get silver, like jewelry silver out of it. Um, that chemical is extremely expensive uh, because it has, it, you can get silver out of it. Uh, oh, I can just collect all the silver and sell it. No, you're not going to get that much. The chemical probably costs more than silver does. If that was the case, I would have already done that and retired. Okay, uh, if I move on to the burning of the ethanol, okay, I uh, sprayed the ethanol on the table and lit it, and I got carbon dioxide and water, CO2 and H2O. Okay, and as I move on to the heating of the copper two hydroxide, this one was also accelerated, um, and I took that really bright blue substance, and, and if you look closely, it is actually like a solid in there. It's like a chunky blue uh, solid, and that forms uh, copper oxide and water, okay? So after going through all of them, now your goal what you need to do is you do need to go back. Let me get back up to the top one here. And you need to balance them. So I'll switch colors, you need to balance them. Okay. Add the coefficients to get them to balance. And then still, you need to identify what type of reaction. So synthesis, decomposition, single, double replacement, combustion neutralization. All right, good luck, pirates.